And we're here with Coach uh, Daniel Barker. Uh, of course, tough loss tonight here, Coach. Uh, of course, you know, senior night. Uh, you know, definitely uh, hard for I uh, you know these boys uh, going out uh, last home game on their um, home field uh, like this. But uh, you know, so what? Um, what we're going to be looking toward uh, next week, or you know, uh, what's your takes on today's game? Uh, you know, uh, today was tough. Uh, you know. Um, you know, whenever you start out in the hole that, that we were in, um, you know, that was, you know, it was really kind of a nightmare to dig out of, you know. We're letting them score and, and uh, you know, they're kicking off and their kicker's great. So, you know, we're pinned in terrible field position. And it just seemed, you know, it just seemed after the first couple of possessions for them, it was just, you know, it was, it was almost like too, too much uphill for us, you know. Uh, you know, we're a little depleted, you know, we have our run back, you know, we're, we're starting running backs out tonight, and, and uh, you know, I, I thought our kids, you know, played hard offensively. Um, you know, they just, uh, you, know, you know, we we just really weren't able to get any rhythm there until, you know, late in the first half, early in the second half. Uh, but, you know, credit our kids, they kept fighting. Um, you, you know, it would be really discouraging if they hadn't, you know, if they just laid down. Because yeah, that's one thing about those kids is that they definitely do not stop. Uh, you know, they, they they never get up. Uh, even you know when it comes in and they're you know got a running clock going up against them, you know they're still playing hard nosed football out there. Yeah, yeah, you know they are. Um, that's uh, you know that's something we tell them. You know we're down thirty one nothing at the half, and you know you know I tell them I say listen, you know we're not going to stop coaching. You know so as long as you're playing, we're going to coach you and you're going to continue to play. You know. If uh, you know, if you lay down, we'll, we'll just go further down the bench. We don't have many on the bench, uh, but we'll we'll find somebody else to put in there. Uh, but uh, you, you know, I mean, our kids like to play. Um, you, you know, it, it it hasn't been an ideal season tonight. wasn't an ideal senior night. Uh, but you know, some kind, sometimes those are the cards you're dealt. But I think it says a lot about you with with how you deal with that. And you know, our kids kept playing hard. Exactly. So uh, Cole Crampton is, is he looking probable for next week? Or uh, I, I, we really don't know. I mean, that's uh, you know, it's, we'll, we'll see. You have to take it week yeah. by week. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know that you was able to bring in uh, Braden Flinter back. Uh, yeah. He got cleared uh, today, mm -hmm. and uh, seen him out on the offensive end. Yeah. Uh, picked up a pretty a uh, couple good catches out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we're hoping to you know get his conditioning up. You know, he's a you know he's a big part of our offense. He's a big part of our defense. Uh, you know, we, we didn't really play him defensively tonight, you know, just because we felt like, uh, you know, uh, defensively we just have more pieces that we can move around than we, than we do offensively right now. Uh, so, you know, I thought I thought he played hard, you know, to not, uh, to not have played in five weeks, you know. Uh, that was, uh, you know, he was pretty good. Absolutely. And we got Breathitt County coming up next week. Uh, the Comets have not seen Breathitt County uh, since, uh, I believe, was, uh, who was it, Randy Johnson, uh, uh, since the 74 and 75 season. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, what's the outlook uh, for next week uh, coming up uh, against uh, the number one team in the uh, 7th District? Uh, you know, we, we've got some film on them. Uh, you, you know, it's kind of hard. You know, they really haven't played anybody that we've played, so it's hard to have a reference on them. You know, we know that they've got, uh, they've got several really nice offensive weapons. Uh, you know, they, they've played some low scoring games, so you know, you feel like they do a really good job defensively. I know Coach Moore down there really well, and, and uh, you know, they always do a good job. They're always, uh, they're always a high seed, and, and it seems like they're always playing, you know, into the later rounds of the playoffs. So, you know, we, we've got our hands full, uh, but, you know, we're, we're preparing to, to go down there uh, to give ourselves a chance to win. Uh, and that's that's what we do every week, and uh, you know our, our kids will show up Monday, and, and they'll be ready to go, and, and you know we we believe it'll be our best ball game of the year. Absolutely, because that's one thing that you know West Carter is, you know I know it's not been the season that probably that you've been looking for, but West Carter started a tradition, and we're they go to the playoffs every year, and you know they're putting themselves in position. Uh, to you know, get you know, you've done a fantastic job with this program. You know, uh, coming in and uh, how many years in a row has this been that uh, you've been to the uh, playoffs? I think this is nine in a row. Uh, you know, which is wild. Whenever I was in school, we'd only made it one time, and that was always that was always the goal. And we tell our kids that all the time. You know, especially this year, we're making it was a big deal because we had to, you know we had to win last week to get in. We're like guys, this is always a big deal because you know you're. All your coaches. We didn't. We never made it. Like that would have been, um, you know, as big as 
you know, beating Russell was in a, a few years ago or as big as beating Walt Verona was to win a regional championship, that would have been that big a win for us, you know, to, to win a game to get into the playoffs. Um, so, you, you know, uh, you try to never take it for granted, you know, and, and uh, if, if anybody has, it's probably been me. Um, you know, I, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I have. Uh, but you know it's always special, and, and uh, you, you know I, I feel like we always we always put on a pretty good show in the playoffs. And uh, you, you know uh, you know we can be the four seed. I, I, I think uh, you know it, seeding doesn't matter at this point in time. We're going to be on the road. We're going to be playing, and, and you know you just hope to survive in advance and get to play another. One. Exactly, because especially with this year with a different playoff uh, format. Instead of playing through your district once again, you, know, you have to play a sister district. Mm -hmm. um, of course, I know uh, redistricting is coming up uh, here. Uh, this is the uh, season that they're going to be taking a look at. Uh, any possibility or changes that you think that may be happening uh, within uh, the 2A District 8? Or, uh, uh, or uh, of course, I know that we're probably not going to be moving up mm -hmm. in class, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, any rearranging that you think that may be happening? It, it, it'd be hard to tell. Uh, you know, you'd have to see, you know, who, who is going to be able to move up, who's going to be able to move down. You know, I would think with our enrollment, we're probably pretty firmly in the middle of 2A now, you know, being around 500 kids, 510 or whatever we are. Um, so, you, you know, you're, you're thinking, well, if another team, you know, kind of from this area would move in, you know, are we in a district then with Bath and Morgan? You know, Bath Morgan and, and whoever. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know who the next team would be, uh, but uh, but you never know because we're we're kind of an outlier. You know, I, I think we're in the right district based on where it's been the last four years. Um, you know, I mean, it's the closest for us geographically, but I mean, still, you know, we have a two and a two and a half hour bus ride to East Ridge and a two at two fifteen to. Uh, Shelby Valley every every other year so you know you, you just never know it's one of those things uh, until uh, the KHSA you know breaks out uh, those documents and everything and gives that full report uh, you never can truly tell uh, like I said you know you would think you know logistically you know we would almost be like in there with Bath and mm -hmm. uh, Morgan uh, but you never can tell yeah. until they actually break out the yeah file. I mean you would you would honestly think Bath Morgan and Breathitt would be a pretty close little district but uh, but you never know yeah, it's just going to wait till the tail of the tape comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, any last minute uh, comments or anything else, Coach, about tonight's game or uh, next week's uh, playoff game? No, we're, uh, you know, um, I, I guess my thing would be, you know, we've got kind of Comet Nation watching. You know, uh, this this hasn't, uh, you know, been, you know, the the banner season that, that maybe we've had the last couple of years. But if you if you physically can come to Breathitt County and support them. You know, I know they would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. You know, our assistants would appreciate it. You know, these kids show up every week. They work hard. Uh, you, you know, they uh, they 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 do they do the absolute best that they can. And uh, you know, having a big crowd for a playoff game. Uh, you, you know, we've had great crowds the last couple of years. And uh, traveling down to Breathitt and, and supporting these boys, uh, you know, would to to me would would mean the world to them. And I, I think that. Uh, you, you know, you, you don't always have to be, you know, the number two overall team in the state, uh, you know, like we were in the RPI a couple of years ago uh, for people to come and support them. These, the, you know, these kids work work hard and, and they show up every day and, and uh, you, you know, we, we, need to, we need to support them. Exactly, because, you know, it's, like you said, it's not the season that we were hoping for, mm -hmm. but we're still live in the playoffs. Still, and still and in the playoffs, anything can happen yeah. when it comes out to you, it. You know, um, you know, you, you know, if we if we go down and we win next week, you know, that changes the entire way you feel about everything this year, you know. Uh, so, you know, we still got a chance to, to make some noise and, and uh, you know, uh, end the season on a good note. Well, Coach, we uh, wish you good luck uh, next week down at Breathitt County. Hopefully we'll be following around with you, but uh, we'll take a look and uh, we'll see you on that. All right. Man. All right thank you, Coach. No comment. And this is uh, Jeff the Manta Serwin here for uh, Manta Sports Media, and we will see you all next time again here on the Manta Sports Media Network.